when you talk about adversity, there's the injuries, there's the teenage years where she was so difficult to coach. It's still competitive and it's still a rivalry, but we have that mutual respect. You know, I've done Olympics, I've done World Champs, I haven't done a Com Games. For every magic moment in her career, she's had more than her share of tough times. I love to make it really difficult for myself. Incredibly, less than 12 months ago, Olivia Vivian was couchbound after breaking her back in two places and tearing a disc. Not allowed to sit, not allowed to walk, I had to lie down. In a sport where gymnasts push themselves to the limit, Olivia's body gave way while practicing a signature move. There's this new skill on bars that no one's ever done before and so if I'm the first to do it, it gets called the Vivian. You have to do it at a World Champs or Olympic Games though. And the wrists are high. There's a reason it's never been done before, okay? And so I did one and I was like, oh, that, that felt a bit wrong. It's very taxing on the back. Olivia avoided surgery, but she's put the routine on the back burner until after the Commonwealth Games. Strange movement going from the, the high bar down to the low bar, but it has a very unnatural turn and twist on the back. And just I think we just did too many in, in a short amount of time. She does put in a lot of work and she's always trying to find new skills. Lauren Mitchell is a world champion who trains alongside Olivia and is also heading to Glasgow. I was listening to the radio this morning and they were joking about um, the Soccer World Cup and they're like, oh, you know, all the old veterans, blah, 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 and they're like, well, can you have really a young veteran? And they're like, well, actually, gymnasts. And I was driving, I was like, oh, that's me and Olivia. <laughs> I'm definitely grandma. <laughs> so you're saying you're a grandma at how old? <laughs> 24. 24? <laughs> oh, you're over the hill, Olivia. I swear, though, my joints are like 70 in here. <laughs> right from the start, there have been challenges for Olivia. I was born with um, diaphragmic hernia, which is definitely not very common, and uh, one in three survived the operation that follows. But it was last year when her world came crashing down, losing her father, Craig, to cancer. I remember the funeral and people that I'd never met before came up to me and they'd tell me that my father had never stopped bragging about how proud he was of me and my brother, Trent. And, um, he talked about the Beijing Olympics just on and on and on. Dad and daughter made one final pact. The last conversations I remember having with my father, he said, go for Rio. Her first priority is to get to Glasgow in one piece. She's got a huge personality and she's a lot of fun, but she's also very stubborn. Martine George is Olivia's long-time coach. The pair have had their ups and downs. She's almost becoming more coachable every year. So, you know, by the time she's 34, who knows? <laughs> she might do everything we say. It'll be great. But they're united in their goal for this year. <laughs> you aim for nothing less than gold in Glasgow. And after all she's been through, Olivia has a simple competition motto. I've always loved the um, win without boasting, lose without excuse.